At the Robotics, Education, and Competition Foundation, we understand the uncertainty of running and participating in events this season. For that reason, we've worked to create many opportunities for teams to be engaged, like with our Remote Skills Only events. Remote Skills Only events give event partners an opportunity to host Remote Skills Only matches using video conferencing platforms of their choice. These matches can be recorded or live. In the previous video, we took a look at the importance of registering your event on robotevents.com and how to easily stream a welcome video to get your event started. After welcoming everyone, it's time to move on to inspection. We understand that running a remote inspection may be new to you. So here's an example of the inspection process for the VEX Robotics competition. I'm Mike Martis, I'm Director of Regional Operations. And on this call today, uh, assisting with this program, we have two of the uh, inspectors, which is Lisa and Andy, which is over there. He's holding the camera in his hand. And then they will also serve as head referees in your matches tomorrow, depending on which of the two events that you're in. So what I'd like to do is to turn this over to Lisa and Lisa will go ahead and uh, perform the inspection with you. Thank you. Hey guys, very nice to meet you. Very excited to have you. Yeah. Um, first thing, uh, I just want to acknowledge, I see the adult in the room with you. So thank you so much for, for having that ready. Um, for this inspection process, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through the regular VRC inspection sprint or, uh, sheet and just verbally ask you some questions and maybe have you guys turn the camera and so I can see the robot in, in a few for a few of the questions. Um, the, the first one we're going to do is the sizing. Um, if you guys, uh, do you have a way to turn the camera so it can face the robot? Uh, that's good. Oh, that's very good. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any, uh, before we begin, uh, is your robot in the configuration that you're going to put it on the field, its initial configuration, or do you need to modify it in any way first? Uh, yes, it's in the uh, configuration. Initial configuration. Perfect. Okay. Do you have a VEX sizing tool? And if not, we can use a measuring tape. Oh, I see one. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to have you do is try to angle the camera so that it's perpendicular to the sizing tool. So it's sort of like you're looking straight on on it. There's a, I know you're kind of maybe in a small room, so we'll try the best we can. Yeah. And maybe can you stand to one side there? Perfect. Okay. So what we're going to try to do is if you can put the sizing tool and just slide it back and uh, forwards and backwards, right? We can see that it fits within that 18 inches. Okay, go ahead and go back. I'm kind of seeing it hit that front fin area. I'm gonna adjust that and try it one more time. Okay, you can put the camera down a little bit. Perfect. Okay, that seemed to go by. Awesome. Great. So if you can turn the robot 90 degrees and repeat that. <laughs> That's good. Super. Great. Thank you guys. That worked really well. Um, so the next thing I'm going to check for is your license plate. Um, can okay. you just turn your robot one side and then the other so I can see them both attached? Perfect. Great. Thank you very much. Um, so the next question is, do you have any parts on your robot that intentionally detach or fall off during the match? Uh, we do not. Um, can you show me where your robot brain is? Yep. Great, so it's easily accessible, perfect. And I also see your battery there, so that's yeah. another one. Um, so the, the students in the room today, are they all the students that are on the team? 18670A? Yeah. yeah. Great. And are these the students that designed, built, and programmed this robot? Yeah. yeah. Great, and is this the robot you plan to use in tomorrow's robot skills event? Yeah. Yes, it is. And do you have any other robots that you're bringing tomorrow? No. 
That's the right answer. Good job. <laughs> okay. Um, the next thing is, do you have any non-vex parts like rubber bands or plastic or something? Uh, just rubber, rubber bands. bands. Okay, those look like the right size. And you have that, the non-shattering plastic. Great. Yes. Right. Um, what's the the la approximate length of that? Like two, two and a half feet, maybe. I'm not sure. Can you? I saw a measuring tape on your um, desk there. Can you just do a length measurement on that for me, please? Okay. And Might have to curve the measuring tape a little bit. That's okay. We'll just get close. Twenty-two inches. Perfect. You know what the maximum is? No. This is a quiz break. It's 24 inches, so okay. you guys are good. Okay. <laughs> so you can uh, use a 12 inch by 24 inch piece or up to that big. Um, the next thing we're going to ask is, can you count off your motors for me? Yes. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, have someone hold the camera back and then, yeah, perfect. Okay, one, two, Three, four, four, and then here. five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Perfect. So eight. So that means you're not using any pneumatics, correct? We are not. Okay. Great. I also see some plastic in down and below there. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Small piece here. Small piece of plastic. Okay. Okay, great. Sorry, my cat is not coming into the room. Uh, ignore her. Um, so the next thing is, uh, I don't see any other non-functional decorations. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. What sensors do you are you using on your robots? Gyros. Okay. And that's it, right? Uh, yeah, that's it. No vision sensors. No, we don't have any business. Okay, I just want to make sure if you were using one that was calibrated. Awesome. Um, let's see. Looks like everything else is taken care of. Um, can we check your firmware real quick as you turn on your robot brain? Yeah. And then if you click on devices, And then click on, whoops, but yeah, and then click on brain. And it's pretty close. There was a really recent update. I think it's 1.0.12, but that will work just fine um, for tomorrow. So you're all set with that. Um, the last question is for the electrical components. Um, were any of the electrical components on the robot modified? No. 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 Okay, super. Um, tomorrow, uh, where, where are you guys located? Are you local or are you going to be connecting remotely? We're in Canada, North Van. So you're probably not going to go to the Texas office yeah, tomorrow. No, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Super. Um, so what I'm going to have you guys do uh, tomorrow, you're going to need to enable and disable your robot. Um, do you have a manual match controller, a Bexnet controller? Yep. Uh, We're just scratching it. Yeah. Yes, perfect. So what I'm going to have you do now um, is have one of your teammates, uh, if you can either put the robot on the floor or have one of your teammates hold the robot, whatever you feel most safe with. Either one's fine with me. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's great. And what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and uh, Start your program tomorrow using that manual switch. And okay. for the autonomous, all I need you to do is enable it just to show it moves. Once it moves, you can disable it. The autonomous? Yeah. So like okay. start your regular, uh, like one, like your, or your programming skills, if you have a separate okay. program for that. Okay. Go ahead and, okay, yeah, you can stop it. Perfect. And then you can, can you turn it to driver and enable that? 
and go ahead and drive around just a little bit. Oh, super, okay. So the last thing is that I just want to make sure you guys are aware of the robot skills appendix B in terms of what you need to do tomorrow um, to have your camera ready. Um, so you should have one camera that can view the entire field and you might need a second camera like this to get some close up views. Um, do you guys have that all ready to go for tomorrow? Yeah, yes we do. Okay. And then you're also going to have to have a match timer visible the entire match. Okay. What was your plan on that? Uh, we would uh, iPad on the monitor. Okay. So yeah, just make sure that um, whatever camera view that you're going to connect with, that uh, the head ref that will be me can see the time during the match. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. A um, couple other things I just want to confirm is uh, you guys, well actually you have it already set up. <laughs> you guys know that the, the robot skills layout is different than the regular mat. It looks like you already have it ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also want to give you guys, do you have any questions for us or about tomorrow? Is, is, there, is our border fun or do we need um it? yeah so since this is a scrimmage um we're we're allowing um sort of kind of unconventional uh fields uh the gdc will be releasing a field spec document for uh, the non-official fields october 1st but for tomorrow that's fine to use and then once that official um document comes out then you can uh, make sure you comply with that one for any official events Okay. Okay. Great question. Any other questions you guys have before tomorrow? No. No. Okay. Well, on my end, you passed inspection. You're ready to go. And we look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Good luck. I'll see you soon. Now let's take a look at the inspection process for VEX IQ Challenge. Five nine A. Can y'all turn on your camera? Are y'all ready? Okay. Um. Do y'all have an adult present in the room? Uh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then the kids answer the questions from here on out. Um. Is this is the robot you're going to be using today, right? Yes. Yeah. Um. Are y'all the only st students who programmed and designed this robot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, may we see the license plate? Okay. All right, that's good. Okay. Um, can you place the robot into a starting position? We just need to check the dimensions. Yeah, yeah. we're checking the dimensions. Do you have a way to check the height? Yeah, and then do you have a way to measure the height? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's 15 inches. Yeah, could you move it more like upwards for the robot? Okay, and that's at 15, right? Okay, that's good. And then did you cut any plastic pieces to modify this robot? No. Uh, you cut off the motors. Okay, um. Wait, can you get normal? Okay. So one, those, can you see, can, you, can they see it? Okay. There's one here, one here, then that's two, three, four, five, and I think that's it. Okay, okay. so five meters in total. Um, do you have any parts on your robot that aren't Vex IQ parts? No, they're all Vex IQ parts. 
Okay. Do you have any decorations in your robot? No, we don't have any decoration. Okay. Okay. Um, and do you have anything intentionally designed to be that? Wait, can you repeat the question? Do you have anything intentionally designed to detach on your robot? Oh, any any design that can impact the robot? Do we have anything like that? I don't think so. Okay. okay. No, we don't have anything. Okay, then so you right. pass the inspection. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. So what? Can you see the field? Yes, we can see the field. Is it at a good angle? Um, yeah. If we have any questions, we'll even... Yeah, we'll ask you to clarify for scoring. Um, okay. Are you going to do programming or drivers first? Driving. Okay. And uh, we need a timer like in view of the camera when y'all start. Okay. So, 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 so,